let's move on to APIs now for creating our own authorization server. Here we see some auth servers present. There is one given default by Okta. Here is the audience for this authorization server and also its URL. Let's move on to scopes to see some scopes are present and here are some default scopes given by Okta. We can also add custom scopes. Here, here are the claims. We can also add custom claims here. And here is the default policy which is for all clients. And then here in this tab we can preview the token if one user is assigned to certain app. Let's create the auth server now. Give it a name. Audience for the auth server is uh, needed when we have to verify the JWT token given by certain auth server. So we'll be giving that here. And we will also add the same description as our name. Save it. Let's navigate to our auth server. Our auth server is created. Here we can see our auth server along with some issuer URIs. The same scopes are present as the default server has along with the claims. Let's add some policy here for our app. We can assign the policy to the clients that we want to or give it to all clients. Here we are assigning to our app. The policy is created now. We can add rule. We can create the default rule. We'll be using this rule to get our users authenticated when the scopes like OIDC scopes are passed. So let's add that and then create the rule. So we are done with that.